What is up guys and welcome back to the Endless Voyage. This video I have a special treat. My parents have flown across the world all the way to right here in Bangkok, Thailand. They've really never been out of the US so this is a huge culture shock for them. They just got in last night so let's go and meet up with them right now. Just met up with my parents. We flew in last night from Doha, Qatar. What did you think of Doha? Absolutely beautiful. I highly recommend it. First time in Thailand. I think they're a little green, so we have to take care of them. What better place to stop as your first stop in Bangkok than Wat Po? I haven't been here in a while. This is one of the most famous temples in Bangkok, and it's known for having the giant golden reclining Buddha. So I think this is gonna be a cool spot for my parents to see. When you come to one of these places, when you come to a temple or religious site, you have to take off your shoes. And usually you just leave them outside, but I guess because this place is so busy, they give you a little green bag to put them in before you go inside. There are so many people here. I'm not used to having this many people at the temples. I first moved to Thailand in 2019, and I believe 2019 was their busiest year for tourism. But since then, be between COVID and the ongoing delays with reopening the country, things have been pretty slow and you get used to it. But now that the country is open and we're in the middle of high season, it's kind of shocking to see so many people at some of these locations. This temple is really big and there's actually a lot of small little places to check out within here but there's so many people and it's so hot I think we're just gonna take off for now and go someplace a little colder. We just came to the Asok BTS stop. I think we're gonna come into this mall, Terminal 21, which is a great mall, by the way, and get some lunch. I'm starving, haven't eaten yet, so let's go inside and check out one of the best food courts in Bangkok. Wow, it is absolutely crazy in here. I've been out of Thailand for a few weeks, and I feel like in that two weeks, Everybody in the entire world showed up here and came to this food court. That was good, but I feel bad for my parents because it is really, really crazy in here right now and I feel like it's a little too much for them. I think we're gonna get a little treat on the way out and find the next stop of our little tour. Good evening. I just came back to the apartment to shower and change really quick. My parents went back to their hotel. I'm gonna be meeting up with them now. Ying is coming with me. I'm gonna You just asked me what I did today with my parents. So the way today started is I called my parents and I said, where are you? And they said they were at a tailor shop. And this was at like nine in the morning. So I said, a tailor shop, how did you get to a tailor shop? So she said she walked outside and there was a tuk-tuk driver who offered to take them around. And I said, how much did he want to charge you? And, she, and my father said, oh, 50 baht. There is no tuk-tuk driver in all of Bangkok that will charge 50 baht. Like they won't even take you 10 meters he's not far. For, for 50 baht, for sure. And my father said, oh no, he's gonna take us all around. And so then I hung up and I texted my mother like, be careful, he might try to take you to a jewelry shop. And because this is a common scam in Thailand, the tuk-tuk drivers take you to like these shops where they have a relationship with the owners and they get like a kickback and sometimes it's like fake stuff or whatever. So I text my mother, I say, be careful. I think he's gonna try to take you to a jewelry shop. And she says, oh, we're at the jewelry shop right now. It's like, oh no, they haven't been outside in Bangkok for five minutes and they already fell into a scam. So luckily I told them like, just get rid of the tuk-tuk driver and I'll come and meet you. And so I did. And when I showed up, I don't think the tuk-tuk driver was How much did very happy. And he, only, he only paid 50. Oh. But the reason it was so low, I think is because the tuk-tuk driver was just hoping that my parents would buy something and he would get a big commission from whatever shop they go to. So yeah. whatever, it's fine. But if you're new to Bangkok and you're in a tourist area, it can definitely be a little rough. So yeah. We have to go to the pier and then go across to Icon Siam and we are short on time before this boat leaves. So we gotta hurry. We 
we just got to the pier at the Sapantaskan BTS, and this is where you catch the ferry across the river to Icon Siam. I've said it before, if you've watched this channel, Icon Siam is such a great place to go for a night out. Right now they just started the, uh, the fountain show in the back here. So we just boarded and they said we can go get our food. It is buffet style, which I love. So let's go see what they have. Just got off the boat. That is a great little two hour dinner. If you want something different, try it out if you're in Bangkok. You get some good food. You get to see a lot of views. Just a few bro tips. I would definitely choose to sit outside if you have a choice, if you could select your seat. Just because sitting inside, it is so loud with the music. It's hard to talk and I think it's a little obnoxious to be honest. But sitting outside, you can still hear the music so it's still nice, but it's not so loud that you can't talk over it. Plus, I think you can enjoy the views a little more when you're outside and it's so much more peaceful. So definitely like sitting outside more than inside. Second pro tip, although there's a lot of food and you can get as much as you want, they do eventually run out. So get your food sooner than later. I was a little late getting dessert and by the time I got there, they were pretty much out of everything. So I didn't end up getting dessert, but other than that, it's a really cool experience. So if you're in Bangkok and want to check out some views while you eat dinner, Check it out. I'll put the info in the description below. We just came up to the roof here at the Labua Hotel at State Tower. This is an amazing roof bar. If you ever come to Bangkok, I highly recommend you check it out. The only downside is it is extremely expensive. I think drinks start at around 25 US dollars, which is not cheap. But if you come up here for even one drink, I think it's worth it because the view is absolutely amazing. All right, guys, that is it for tonight's video. We are going to bed early because we are catching an early morning flight down to Krabi. If you want to see that video, hit the subscribe button, and we will see you in the next one.